Hey guys, I'm Andy with Rooted Arborist. Today we were talking about the DMM vault wire gate. So this is the non-locking vault gate. Um, this is a pretty awesome device from DMM. I've used these now for six years. Um, I've used a lot of rock solid transporters, shem beaners, pencil care tools. This is one of my favorite just because how low profile it is. So weight wise, we're coming in right at 2.2 ounces or 63 grams. So um, it's pretty darn lightweight. Again, really low profile. We're looking at maybe two inches coming out from the saddle. Um, it's pretty easy on and off. It's got one screw attachment, so it is does require a tool, so that is kind of a bummer, but typically you set these and forget them. We're not moving these around too much, but in the event you do want to move it, one piece. So it's real easy on a tree motion, but several saddles it's easy on. Slide it up and under, and I put the screw in, twist it on. Pretty easy thing to lose here, guys. It's a small screw, so it's not really a, a field transition. Some of my other favorite things about this is the fact that it's easy to rack one-handed. So if it's on my saddle, I slide it up, trace it down the spine of it, and I can roll it right out of the wire gate. So again, non-locking, so you have the benefits. It's the easiest one on and off one-handed. The only downside with having a wire gate instead of a traditional lock gate or a transporter with a locking wing is branches, especially if you're trimming like a wispier tree or a pin oak, it's really easy to get branches hung up in here and that can be pretty frustrating. I love using it to manage the excess tail on my lanyard. When I'm ready to go, I just pull it out and I'm good to go, a simple waterfall knot. The inverse to that though is if I'm in a weird position sometimes, if it's positioned close to my hip rings, I can clip into it incidentally with my lanyard adjuster, which is a little frustrating, but trial and error, you'll get them positioned in the right spot. So ultimately that's just, I prefer to go with the wire gate instead of the vault gate, but I do experience that issue periodically as a result. Um, it's got a really cool horn up here that's great for racking gear. So if I have three things attached to it and I wanna sort through, I can slide two of them up and get my third one and it's still easy to access. So for sorting, it's really, really nice. You can get up to a one inch rope in here if you're stowing a rope on there and it's not going anywhere. It's still real easy to get it out. Not quite as quick as a shim beaner, but a little more secure than a shim beaner. The only thing I don't really like about this, and it's, it's more of a saddle specific thing, on the tree motion, they're phenomenal. Petzl saddles, they're great. But if you're climbing on maybe a Tree Austria Pro, which is my daily driver for the most part, we have wider spaces for them to be inserted onto. It'll sit fine, but because it only has a single attachment screw, I can get a lot of side wobble. Rock Exotica Transporter, we have four screws, so that kind of eliminates that issue on this saddle, but on the Tree Motion, you know, they partner a lot with DMM for their hardware, so it's like a perfect fit. So if you're on a Tree Motion, it's hard to beat this. But we've really, really loved these for years and years. A lot of us are using them. I typically have three on a saddle just because they're so convenient. Price point, they're right around 45 bucks for the wire gate or 60, 65 for the vault gate. Some different uh, retailers, you can buy them in kits of two and save a little money that way, but it's definitely worth checking out. If you're looking for metallic storage solutions for your saddle that are a little more robust and long lasting, these are all about five years old. It's hard to beat the DMM wire gate. Thanks guys.